what a massacre. German and local people, women and children, dead and wounded everywhere you look. The Austrian troops are pushing through the barricade, from the steps to the military road. I don't know how long these structures will hold. And once they arrive, the Germans certainly won't show me any mercy. I'd better get hold of a rifle and make my way through the crowd towards Piazza del Duomo. But that's the friar's landlord. He's lying motionless on the ground. I used to bring him fresh eggs and herbs from my garden every Saturday in exchange for biscuits and a goblet of sweet wine. Lord, have mercy on his soul. I knew half of these people and now they're all dead. What will happen to their children? Their homes? Their shops? The Germans have lost just as many. There are men in uniform slumped on the ground, all over the place. A few soldiers have managed to sneak through the windows into people's houses. They're carrying buckets of pitch and torches. It's clear that they want to put the city to the sword and the torch. This is inhuman! As if that wasn't enough. They've started firing from the castle again. Smoke and flames can be seen above Piazza Becchia. Who knows whether they've hit the loggia as well? The broletto bell has started ringing again. I'm sure there's more fighting going on at the city gates. My home feels farther and farther away. Will I ever see my hillside again? I can hear them. Calling my name from Piazza dell'Albera. Let's go and see. <laughs>